Hey friends, welcome back to Beer and Beauty. It's Kasha here. So today's video is gonna be a little bit of a mini Lush haul. I don't know if I'll even show this because there's one item in here that I bought that, that breaks my no buy. Out of it, I know I'm gonna use it all up. You know, I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, but I bought it because I was visiting Canada last week. I went to Montreal, Quebec City, and Montreal is the place where I kind of discovered Lush. When I went back there, when I went back to Canada, I have kind of felt like these nostalgia vibes of being in Canada and in, Mo in Quebec. I loved having like Lush products that were all in French, as they are right here, and I fell in love with Lush, and Lush really transformed my skin. So I wanted to go ahead and tell, tell you a little bit about what I got at Lush. I love Lush. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. But first, today's beer of the day is also the a beer I featured before. This is the Hop Rush beer from the French brewery that I visited in Quebec City called Noctem Artisan Brassour. They are probably the best brewery in Quebec City and they're kitty cat themed. Look how cute! Look how cute this little kitty is! So when I went there, I'm just like, oh my gosh, a beer with a kitty cat theme? Like, I think it's a match made in heaven for me. And they make um, incredible IPAs. Like all throughout Canada, all throughout Quebec, I tried a lot of IPAs. A lot of them were just not good. But these ones are really good. This is uh, the Hop Rush Session IPA from Noctum Artisan Brasseur. And cheers to that. Let's give it a taste. Mm. It's happy. It's a little bit bitter, but not too much. Very citrusy, very fresh and juicy. Very New England IPA kind of vibes. And Session vibes as well. It's very young. Perhaps that's why they featured a little kitten rather than a full-grown cat because it's a kind of a young beer, kind of like a fresh, juicy, not a matured hops, like a fresh, young hops was used to make this beer. And I love it. I think it's delicious, so cheers to that. So one of my goals for visiting Quebec and Canada is visit Lush, because when I think of Montreal and Quebec City, I do think of Lush because the first, that's where I discovered Lush, like I mentioned earlier. And Lush products have really transformed my skin. And I'm getting to the bottom of a lot of my body care products. So I figured, I'm going to Quebec, I'm almost out of a bunch of body care products, it's time to stock up. So the first thing I needed to get down to the bottom of all my body lotions, and I've tried Crème de Rêve, uh, or aka Dream Cream. Lush before and it was amazing. It actually did help clear up my psoriasis, which I've never actually had a batter cream work like that before. And I actually bought it twice and I used it up twice. But I've been really excited to try this one and switch things up a little bit. This is the Sympath pour la peau uh, cream or uh, I think in English that would be Sympathy for the Skin. Uh, body lo lotion. It's made with like banana. It smells incredible. Yeah, it smells like banana ice cream. It's delicious smelling. I feel like I like I'm tempted to eat it. It smells so good, and it's really a nice thick lotion that uh, sinks in the skin nicely and is really nourishing. And I think it's got a little argan or something in it too. I'm so excited to empty this guy out and really get good use out of it. I know I will. I always do. I've tried their Dream Cream and I've tried the purple one. I forget what it was called. The, the lavender purple one. That's like a nighttime... I think it's called Sleepy? Sleepy Lotion? That one was really excellent too, but I feel like this one's gonna be even more nourishing and delicious. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be deeply hydrating, especially going into the fall and winter. It's made with fresh bananas, sandalwood, and cocoa butter on the skin. And I will report back in an empties video, I'm sure, very soon to let you know how it all went. The next thing I needed to get, because I was all out of exfoliator, picking up some of this stuff, uh, is called Sel Oceanique. I think this is, in English it would be the Ocean Salt Scrub, I think, or something of that nature. And it's just like a rough um, scrub that's like blue inside. It's just like a nice rough salt scrub and I I love using Lush products especially to treat my psoriasis because the their scrubs are nice and 
nourishing and uh, abrasive enough to actually really sloth off the extra skin cells that come as a result of psoriasis and then the rich nourishing body butters really moisturize and seal in moisture after the fact so I feel like Lush product, body products really do help me soothe my psoriasis and dry bad skin especially in the winter um, it really makes my skin soft and luscious and delicious so I'm I was really anxious to I've never bought a full-size scrub from actually that's not true I've gotten the Buffy and I've gotten the little bee there's like a little I think I had in my last year's birthday haul a little section from Lush where I got the little bee and I talked about it in an empties video and it was good but I did try a sample of this once before and I was re I'm ready to give a full size of, of this stuff a try so I'll let you know in an empties video how it all goes but I'm super excited to give it a shot and I think this one's a little bit different this one's got a little mango butter in it so that's gonna be make it a little bit more nourishing and it's got minerals and a softening scrub with sea salt I can't wait to try I did end up picking up a couple samples out of a lush as well as you, I don't know if you guys know but lush not only is do they create the most amazing body products. Some people talk about how like, oh, this uh, Lush is just marketing. Their products aren't even that good. I'm just like, I think that's a hard false. I think their body products are really amazing. Uh, like everything I've tried from Lush, I've loved. So I just had to grab a sample of the Creme Karma body lotion. I don't know much about this. Ooh, but it's so, ooh, the scent is just, it's, <laughs> It smells like a fortune teller's fortune telling room. Like it's it's like strong incense sandalwood kind of smell. Very fragrant, really delicious. I feel like this would be really relaxing. Or like on a stressed out day, just doing your body care routine. I think that would be really awesome. Ooh, the smell is like unreal. So that's the Creme Karma body lotion sample that I picked up. And I also picked up La Gandurou body conditioner. I don't know what this is called in English, La Gonde Rue. It's a body co conditioner made with argan oil. The idea is that you like put it on in the shower, you leave it on for a little while, then you rinse it off, and then your skin com comes out really super soft. Ooh, they filled it up nice and full too, so that's really awesome. Oh, I th do believe that the sales girl actually tried a little bit of that on my skin, and I feel like even after a couple washes, my hands felt really soft. So I'm super excited to try that all over my skin. So that is the Lagon de Rue uh, body conditioner. And the last item that I picked up, I think breaks my no buy, but I've just, I've been curious about this mask for so long. Like I've been curious about it for like a year. This is the Emma Gondalgu uh, Mask Fresh, or Fresh Face Mask. It's like the rose one. Nutritious seaweed and soothing aloe vera keeps things calm and cool. Oh, this wasn't the one I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get a rose one. Well, this is really interesting because that's this isn't what I wanted to order. I wanted to get a rose face mask, but I'll happily use this, but this isn't what I asked for. I don't know. So that's strange. But I will report about this back very soon. It's one of the fresh ones, so I will be going through this quickly. This is a pretty small container. I will let you know in an empty video how it all goes. Yeah, it's I got it all the way in Quebec, so I can't like go back and be like, you gave me the wrong one. That's what I get for breaking my no-buy. <laughs> This is uh, why you shouldn't break your no-buy just because for, of the novelty of being in a place where you got the nostalgia of loving a place, like especially a cosmetics selling place like Lush. That is it guys. I love Lush. I am not even particularly mad that I got the wrong mask. I, like the, I think the masks only go for like $10, especially when you buy them in Canada, like I feel like uh, the exchange rate makes them a little bit cheaper in Canada, so that's cool for me, I suppose. I am super excited to try all these, the my large products and my all my body lotions. I am I'm, I'm kind of like a freak when it comes to body lotions. I love trying new products, and I especially like love Lush. You know, I've tried lots of body products that I think were really luxurious. Like I love Fresh and I love Tree Hut and I love the Body Shop but like the Lush products that I've tried are really 
the best, like my favorite and the most unparalleled. So I really love Lush. I love their message. I love their sustainability practices, their efficacy. They're a little bit expensive, especially for the packaging that you get. You know, you just get like these like plastic bins, but they recycle everything. So that's nice. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I have a question for you. If you like Lush, what is your favorite product from Lush? Tell me down below in the comments. I would love to know. And until next time, thanks again for watching, guys. And I hope you really liked hanging out with me. I really liked hanging out with you. And until next time, cheers. Bye.